Welcome back to Tesh Kid FX for another amazing video and in this video I'll be showing you how to verify your KuCoin account and before I get further into the video make sure that you give this video a thumbs up subscribe to the channel and also check out the channel membership and for you to verify your KuCoin account you need to first have a KuCoin account and you can use the link in the description box to create your own account once you have your own account created you then need to log into your account and this is the KuCoin dashboard where you can see that on this top right corner i have the te where i have the that is the profile icon i tap on that then i tap on the identity identity verification so you tap on that to verify your identity and on this page you can see that i have the basic features and also the advanced features where i need to provide my identity that is verify my account for me to unlock these advanced features and for the basic features these are available on your account upon successful account registration where you can withdraw up to one btc per day trade up to 2000 usdt per day on your p2p page and for the fiat deposit this is unavailable if you have not verified your account and if you want to access the advanced features you now need to verify your account where you can see that on the advanced features i'll be able to withdraw up to 200 btc per day and a maximum of 500,000 usdt per day on the p2p page and also the fiat deposit is available once i verify my account and to do that I just tap on the verify icon which is just right here so I tap on that where you can see that verify your KuCoin app where you can either use your mobile phone by just scanning these codes that I have right here or maybe I can continue on the browser and for the purposes of this video I'll be using my browser so I tap on that where you can see that I first need to provide my country or my region where you can see that I'm in Kenya then I need to select the document that I want to use to verify my account where I'll be using my national ID and for those that want to use their passports or maybe their driver's license you can select that uh, on that list then tap on the continue option then I need to provide my name that is my first name my last name and also my ID number which is on my national ID card so I need to provide these details and once you provide those details you can also read through those instructions down there then tap on the continue option once you tap on the continue option you can see that the next process is the ID verification and the face verification and on this page I just need to tap on the start icon which is right here where you can see that I need to choose an upload method either using my mobile phone or maybe take a photo using my webcam or maybe upload the file from my device and these files are the front and the back page of my uh, the document that you want to use for verification so for me I'll be using my ID so I can either use my webcam to take a photo of my ID on the front page and also on the back page or maybe I can take that photo using my phone and then save those files on my laptop then I can upload them and once you have them saved you can upload them from your device so for me I'll be uploading them by choosing the file where you can see that you need to choose a GPG or GPEG and PNG format for this method so I need to select those uh, files from my uh, from my device so once you upload the front and the back page of your document then now you need to do the face verification so I need to allow my webcam to take a selfie so that I can verify my face also so you can now see that I've managed to upload my document and also done the face verification and you can see that my personal information has been submitted and within 24 hours I'll be receiving a notification to confirm whether my identity has been verified or not and that is how you verify your KuCoin account using your web browser and the same process also applies for those that will be using their mobile phones and I hope that video was of much help to you.